Hi, we're Kev and Emma. 18 months ago we started a new adventure and bought a 57 foot narrowboat called Ripple. Why not join us and watch our highs and lows, the renovations and changes we've made, the clever storage that's been created and find out what it's really like living and working full time aboard a narrowboat with two dogs while exploring the waterways of our beautiful country. <laughs> Good afternoon. It is a Tuesday afternoon. Kev has just finished work and much to Kev's delight, tonight is our very last night on the tents. He's gutted, you can tell, can't you? Um, yeah, we, it hasn't been that an enjoyable time on the Thames, really. No. The weather's not been great. We've had COVID. Kev's anxiety has been through the roof. Um, and uh, yeah, so it'll be good to get back to the canal. So tonight we are leaving Kingston. We've been more than Kingston, and uh, it's a quite a, it's a very short cruise. We're just going up to the moorings at Teddington because in order to get onto the tidal Thames, you have to book passage through the lock, the Thames lock, which Thames. is at Brentford. Yeah. So our t our um, time is tomorrow 11 15. 15? So uh, we're going to get ourselves up there and ready um, to go on the small part of the Tidal Thames, uh, ready to get onto the bottom of the GU. So here we go. So Captain M is driving. Um, you're feeling a lot better now, aren't you? You seem to. Yeah, I've got, I've got a head cold, but today I am first day. Drug free. Drug free, and you no, said you no managed to today. smell the dog food this morning. Slightly, didn't you? The dog food or the dog poo? Was it the dog food or the poo? <laughs> poo. Oh, the dog poo. The strong smells are a little bit faint now. I still don't really have a sense of taste. Em's driving, so I must admit I'm still feeling a bit ropey. Feel a bit light headed today, so we just better say for one that you drove more than me. Um, so Em's going to do the last bit of the non-tidal river to the Thames. So behind us here, look, look. there's an ice cream boat. Damn! A drive-through ice cream boat. I'm not doing much business today, I would have thought. It's quite a crappy old day, really. We're just coming up to Kingston Bridge down there. This is Kingston Bridge on a grey Tuesday afternoon. But even a grey Tuesday afternoon is very pretty and at night it's lit up blue or it seems to be from where we were. And Endeavour there. I will endeavour to film more as we go down this bit. <laughs> Dad joke, sorry. Teddington Lock. That way is the way to the Tidal Thames. We'll be going through there tomorrow morning. And here we have Kev who has come up here to have a conversation with the lock keeper before we go through tomorrow morning. Just to ease his anxiety, just so that he knows what he's doing. Um, we've had to moor up quite a a bit away all of the um, lock uh, moorings were taken so uh, so we we're, we've got a wild spot it's not that far away not too far away it's that up, right up by the weir which is the last place I thought that Kev would uh, moor as our last night on the Thames but uh, yeah so um, tomorrow morning it'll be all go uh, okay so what what does he say so our booking is 11.52 yeah there's a red barge pontoon there you need to be there at 11.30 the two hour slot is for up and down 11.30 on the barge we'll aim to get you all through and out he said if you're going 45 minutes more he said you're punching against the tide he said it'll raise two meters in two hours he said you're gonna have to go 
I thought you said nine metres. No, or do, you might have said nine metres, sorry, nine metres in two hours. He said, so we let you just as it's coming up and you'll be going with it. You'll be doing about eight knots down the river. He said, opposed to your normal four or five. He said, and that'll give you the perfect timing to turn left into Brentford. How are you feeling? Life, yeah, great. <laughs> Living the dream, can't wait. Um, life jacket's on and anchor out and very visible to somebody, he said. I can't remember who he said. I'm guessing it's a port authority because yeah. I think he goes to London Port. If they see you without an anchor, they're stopping. So, okay. We're all good to go. Cool. Well, bring on tomorrow. No. Mm. no. We've got to do it though. No. It's like a visit to the dentist. It's Could got to be done. Can we not just turn around and go? No. Then you've got to go back on the Thames. Back yeah, up the Thames. Let's go. Huh? Let's go. <laughs> so um, it's the night before we're doing the tidal Thames. We've both recently had COVID. Um, I tested positive a week ago and Kev tested positive about five days ago, wasn't it? Something like that, yeah. Um, and so um, because we've got a pilot coming with us, obviously on the boat tomorrow to... Um, uh, take us down the tidal part of the Thames we thought we ought to be, do the responsible thing just double check that we are clear and dun, 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 we are both negative negative yay we are covid free you still excited Kev yeah very <laughs> It'll be over. This time tomorrow, it'll all be Mama over. My canals. Dirty, canals. stagnant, steel water. <laughs> it's just the way he likes it. Just how I like it. <laughs> Perfect. So many of you are probably wondering why on earth we've got a pilot. Or a pilot, boat mover, um, to help us move from Teddington down to Brentford. That was my... Not my choice, but my suggestion to help my anxiety which em quite happily agreed with because she could see that doing the tidal part of the thames was really getting to me those of you that watch from the start know i don't like rivers in any way shape or form i wasn't sleeping i wasn't concentrating my anxiety is just built for months and has really in many ways spoiled my thames experience this time because of knowing that we're going to do the tidal part when we came down last year to the KA, we the tidal part wasn't even in the picture so we enjoyed that it was nice where this time it's been pretty much not enjoyable at all a the weather's been pretty rotten for us uh, b we've had covid we've had a problem with a dog plus my anxieties have gone through the roof knowing we've got to do that bit there coming up in a minute um so we made this decision last week to help calm me down if you like and reassure me that we would hire a pilot to get through the tidal Thames and after lots of recommendations and looking at reviews and things we've got a guy called Kelvin and he's coming to meet us tomorrow at 11 o'clock and he's going to take us down through the tidal section that has cost us a little bit of money but as far as we're concerned so that I could sleep and stop the stress it is, is money well spent if you're an anxious person you'll probably understand everything that I'm saying but if you're an not an anxious person you might be like What's all the fuss about? What are you worried about? For me. So that's why we made that decision. So I just thought I'd give you an explanation of why we've hired someone, really. really. Because we said at the very, very first vlog we did that we'd show you the good, bad and the ugly. And I guess this is the ugly side of it, that sometimes anxieties do take over and you can't control it. And you... So the day's come. Um... Can't say I'm looking forward to this. At this moment, right in time, I'd rather dig my eyeballs out of a blunt spoon than do this. It's a bit dramatic. Yes. But yeah, he has been super, super anxious about this. Hence why we have a pilot who should be arriving at the boat in the next half an hour, half an hour or, so. or so. So, um, and you know, we're just going to kind of take his lead and let him let him do it for us and, and kind of learn as we go. Not that we plan on doing any more rivers. Do no, we? we don't. But you're going to have a go driving, aren't you? Yeah, I don't river. mind having a go yeah. driving. I'd, you know, I'd quite like to see if it feels different and and what it's like. But, um, yeah, I, you know, we'll, we'll see yeah. how the day goes. I mean, it's a beautiful day. Summer has arrived again. It's really hot. Whether really or not hot. it's staying, who knows. It's staying but, most um, of the day at 
kind of like around 25 today so it's going to be a, be a warm one we feel hence hat on yeah. hair up hair up off um, the back of my neck I may change my mind at the moment but I've got no interest in driving the boat until we get through the lock at Brentford I think um, Kev just needs to see what it's like I think if yeah. we get the other side you know through the lock and um, and you look at it and go oh not as bad as I thought I think you know what would be really great for me would be if he says to um, Calvin can I have a go because yeah. um, that, that for me would mean that he's feeling much more at ease yeah. we have our life jacket on at the ready for the tidal Thames we've, uh, we've anchor had them the over a year yeah anchors engine checks are done weed hatch is done I've prepped the boat as much as I can physically do um, there's nothing else I can do everything stowed away and put away that should be um, Calvin's gonna come on and do some checks he does a wobble yeah. check just to make sure nothing goes flying Nothing's in the boat if we get a, gets a bit wavy. Yeah, good to go. So we're good to go. We just wait for Calvin to go, arrive, and then I guess. A couple he, of hours and it'll all be over. Yeah. And Kev can just. Three o'clock. I think we're literally going to get to Brentford and collapse. Find a mooring and then just stop and probably go to the pub. Yeah. Uh, because this has been building up for. Months. Well, since we've been on the. Since we've been on the Thames, but even probably before, yeah. as soon as we talked about coming this way, Kev was when concerned. When we're on the K&A still, so. So for Kev, it'll be a massive relief. And, yeah, um, I can't wait to get off of it. And do you know what, be. maybe I'll get my Kev back, because he's been a little bit distant, a little bit anxious, a little bit not his usual self, I'd say, over the last few weeks. So um, I don't think either of us slept particularly well last night. No. We had a boat come past at about two o'clock in the morning. Oh my God, the wash that it caught, where it came from, it, it was, God only knows. It was knows. flying. Both of us were like, oh my God, it's going to pull the pins out. Yeah, we're going to end up on the weir. Yeah, it was, it was a little bit, it didn't help the fact, you know, it didn't help the restless night that we were already going to have. So, I mean, you know, lots of you may be watching this and going, oh my God, you know, what, oh, what, what you is doing? that all You're about? Drama queen and Kev. to be fair, Don't afterwards, we may well go. We probably go, will go. Oh that God, was that ridiculous. Was just... I could have done that by myself. Yeah. What did I work it up? But, but until you do it, and until you get in an anxious yeah. person's head, you don't understand Absolutely. how it feels. And, and you know, the best thing to do is if you can reduce that anxiety, and that's what we've done. Um, it hasn't worked completely. Kev's still super anxious, but um, we've got somebody who knows what they're doing. That that um, you know will be looking after the boat and looking after us. I am a bit worried though that this life vest is going to go off because it's water activated, and I'm sweating <laughs> like. All of a sudden, it's going to go. It's, yeah, I think all of a sudden it's just going to go <laughs> and be like, oh my God, what's going on? Because I'm That's sweating funny. so much already. Okay, so here we are. We are just about to um, go down to the lock landing and get ready to go through Teddington Lock. This is Calvin, who is from Boat Movers. Um, we will put his uh, details below, but he is going to pilot our boat today and um, yeah, show us how it's done. Really? Yeah, so we're all good to go. So here we are, we are leaving Teddington Lock. Let's see how different it is from uh, the inland waters. Kev's imagining some kind of, um, you know, like surfing water that we're gonna, we're gonna uh, come across. Now. I think I've watched too many of those fishing documentaries where they're out on the uh, Bering Sea. <laughs> and they're catching lobster and stuff That's, like that. That is what Kev is imagining That's in his head. That's probably what I'm imagining. But, yeah. um, I think he's going to be mightily disappointed. No, mightily relieved. And so, here we are. Tidal Thames. I believe the tide has just turned. Is that right? We're going with um, flow. Slack tide at the moment. Slack tide at the moment. No, it's, it's gone down on the post, so it's been turning. So, you might recognise this boat here, we think. It's the hotel boat that was on Narrow Escapes. I'm sure it is, Wessex Rose. Wessex Rose. Yeah, yeah it looks like it might be.
Emma has taken over the driving. Yeah. I'd give it a little go. How's it feeling? It doesn't, it doesn't feel any different. No. We're travelling a bit faster than we normally do, but. Um, well, we're travelling average speed at the moment at nine miles an hour. I think it's the fastest this boat's ever gone. Sorry, I've just rechecked the uh, GPS and it is actually eight miles an hour. It's fluctuating between seven and eight. Um, we got Calvin there, Emma driving the boat and me chilling out. I'm actually quite okay-ish at the minute. I'm probably not going to drive the boat because my stress levels are down and I want to keep them that way. So I'm quite enjoying it actually, just being a passenger. It's, it's quite nice. The flow isn't too bad actually. I thought, oh you can't see that way can you dipstick? If you can see behind me, bits floating past, the flow's quite quite slow. I thought it'd be going a lot faster than this. I guess we'll find out on the corner when we turn left at Brentford and I guess that will take us a bit. But at the moment, it's all right. Brentford in the distance there. We're gonna be turning left in a while. Apparently this is the only part of the Tarbidal Thames that is natural how it should be. All the other sides have had banks concreted and built up on them. It's the only part of the Thames that is natural how it would have been hundreds of years ago when it, before we built all over it. Welcome to the Grand Union. Da, 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 da. Here we are. So we've arrived in Brentford, or at Thames Lock. We're just waiting for the lock to open at the minute. Um, got here in one piece, <laughs> as probably we assumed we would do. Um, no dramas. No dramas. No stress. The boat handled beautifully. The engine ran lovely. Calvin did a sterling job, and so did Em driving the boat for a while, weren't you? Just a little while, yeah. So, uh, Had to be done. We're just waiting for the lock to open now. There is another narrow boat in front of us also waiting. Uh, gates are opening. Um, gates are opening and we'll probably be in in a minute. And, and then, then we, we are back on to um, the dirty, still, mucky, mm -hmm. non-tidal, non-flowy canals. Just how Kev likes it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be our last river trip. It will be. It's not my. It will. Well, we're not going to go on any more tidal rivers anyway, are no, we? No, we're not. <laughs> not unless Calvin's here. Not unless Calvin's coming with us. <laughs> We'd link uh, the CRT website with Calvin's details, his Instagram. I'll we we'll stick the email address for Calvin as well, so that if any of you need a boat mover to help you. Like or you I want did. a bit of, a bit of tuition, Calvin training. also does that, a bit of training. He's fully trained and qualified to instruct and teach tidal, non-tidal, canal, you name it, this guy can do it. Um, highly recommend him. lock and this is where Calvin is going to leave us he has very safely got us to this point and now it's over to us yeah. thank you very much Happy to help. Cheers. Happy to help. he is busy so <laughs> he's a busy book, man book early. <laughs> yeah. so we haven't gone much further than the gauging lock we've just come up through under a couple of bridges, under the A4, um, and then we've just found a mooring. In fact, the next lock is right in front of us. Um, but we've decided that for today, we're just gonna chill out, chill out for the rest of the day. I don't think Kev slept particularly well last night. Um, neither did I, to be fair. I don't know why, I wasn't worried at all, but um, I think I was worried for him. 
So um, I think we're just going to chill out here for a little bit and then continue our journey towards Paddington Arm tomorrow. We do have a flight of 10 locks, I think it is, to get to us to the Paddington Arm. So um, we will tackle those tomorrow. But for now, we are moored up in Brentford. And um, this is where we're going to stay until tomorrow. Look at the blooming idiot. <laughs> <laughs> He's obviously pleased to be back on firm soil again and it will be over. Look at that clear, dirty, stagnant, still water. Isn't it lovely? How I've missed it. I'm going to kind of leave it here Yeah. and um, just chill out Um possibly pick it up again tomorrow. Yeah, if you thought I was an idiot over all that, that's fine. You've got your own opinion. But if you kind of sat there and watched and supported me and kind of went, yeah, I get his point. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you've liked the video, hit the like button. Um, hit the bell for notifications when our vlogs come out. Um, and if you haven't already, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel. But for now, we're going to leave you in Brentford and pick it up again tomorrow. <laughs> um, the guidance is stay away from people for up to five days um, which we both have done apart from Christopher <laughs> obviously rolling 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 mm. am I doing it? yeah <laughs> I always do it okay. nice. it's a soft one Oh, is it? <laughs> I thought it was real. So, a bit of learning going on today. Do Beautiful day for it. Look, Kev's got, yeah. Kev's got a thong going up the pack, which yeah. I now wonder, no, why women do that? 